The West Tigers chairman, Lee Hadjabantelis, has refused to guarantee Michael Maguire's position as head coach, despite the club conducting a full review of their season. Take a look. Tim Sheens has been engaged by the club as the uh, director of football, right? So he's, he's, his responsibility is to oversee all of the operations within the football department. And so he's just found an opportune time now, in the middle of the year, there is this, this two-week hiatus where he can just do a little health check and have a look where we're sitting and, you know, why are we three from 12? Are we happy about that? No, we're not. What we need to do to improve, what changes may or may not need to be made. There's no emergency board meetings, there's no panic phone calls, there's no late night Zoom hookups. As of today, 31 May 2022, Michael Maguire is the contracted head coach for the West Tigers. And there is nothing, nothing before me to indicate that that's going to change. But will I guarantee anyone's employment, whether it be the head coach or the head of commercial or the CEO's role? Uh, no, I will not give that guarantee. And I've said that before because the issuing of guarantees, Andrew, has certain legal ramifications. But at the moment, as I say, we are um, somewhat disappointed where we're sitting at the moment on the table. Uh, do we need to make some changes? I suspect we do. Uh, and we'll just leave it to the great man to come back to us. Support. The board puts a lot of stock in Tim Sheens and his recommendations. So we'll see what he comes back with. Yeah, Lee Hadjabantelis has always been very supportive of Michael Maguire throughout his coaching tenure at, at the West Tigers. But... Certainly, Kenty, he couldn't guarantee that his job was safe. Oh, look, I'd be concerned if I was Michael Maguire hearing that. A couple of things, just a language. Look, Lee Hatchapantalis is an intelligent man. He's a lawyer. He's done very well uh, in, in his business. But just things like, uh, there's nothing before me to indicate that's going to change. So he named the date. As of today, he's our coach. There's nothing before me to indicate that's going to change. Well, what will change is this review that's currently being held once it's completed, something then will be put before him, which will then indicate, will, will certainly allow him to change his position. The other thing that concerns me about this is for all this, it's all normal, normal stuff from the West Tigers, they are the only club taking a mid-season review. OK? <laughs> right? They are the only club. Well, so that, this is nothing to see here. We're just, <laughs> this is just normal football business. Don't worry about it. Well, why aren't 15 other clubs doing it? Thirdly... They did, a, they did a review over the off-season. There's a few reviews going Nothing on. has come out of it. <laughs> they, they've, they've not given one finding out of the review. There's not been one person made accountable. What not, what not one explanation made to fans about what was actually missing or wrong or what needed to be done or what needed to be changed out of that review. So, it, and nothing has changed. So if nothing's changed out of that review, how do you have any hope anything's going to come out of this review? What has changed is that Tim Sheens is doing this review. And, and I, and Sheens I, was in. He didn't do the last no, one, he but he was part of it, and he was informed of it. He didn't do. He he was spoken to about the last one, but he's now had six months to get his feet under True. the desk, get the lay of the land. And you've got to say about Tim Sheens, is that he's been around the game for a long time. He's a proven winner. There's not many blokes I've met in rugby league who know more about the the game. And in fairness to the Tigers, they're in a situation where they're sitting fifteenth on the ladder. It is Michael Maguire's fourth season at the club. There are no clear signs of improvement. The roster has completely changed from when Ivan Cleary left till now. Every single player has been re-signed, recommitted under this new coach and, and it ain't working, Paul. It's no. just not working, mate. So the club has to do something. You can't sit on your hands forever and just accept this is, the, this is our lot in life. Well, Sheen says the whole way through reinforce his support of... Michael McGuire's coach. So if he's not there, yeah. Dave, what's, 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 the, what's the options? Well, what are you hearing? We've spoken about this before, that the Tigers also have one eye over the back fence at the Bulldogs. Mm. And if you don't jump first, you're going to be caught short. Yeah. And mm. that's what the Tigers have got in the back of their mind here in relation to Cameron Serraldo. I believe that Cameron Serraldo is the lead target for the West Tigers and that being a development club, that Cameron would have an interest if approached by the West Tigers to take up that role. Now, I think that, I think, as I said, I think it's key of what is happening at the Bulldogs. Because if the, if the Tigers don't make a decision, they're going to be left with this current situation where the Bulldogs are taking forever to yeah. But I don't think they'll go to the Bulldogs. The, 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 I think well, you're right. I think I, you're I right think the Tigers. So I don't, well, I don't think they need to look at the Bulldogs. But the Tigers, say, ca well, the Tigers get... can't wait, wait for the dog's decision, though. Well, I, I don't. Well, no, if if, if Serraldo is that man, they can because Serraldo's not going to go to the Bulldogs. 
Well, they don't know that yet, and that's why well, they've got to make this Well, it week... ain't going to happen, because he's, he's, he's committing to talks this week with Penrith as an extension. There's been no offer put to them from the, the Bulldogs, although there is interest at the Bulldogs. They haven't put an offer to him, because I reckon they know he doesn't want to go there. Yeah. Maybe. I don't think he wants it. I think, he's, I think he's put it out there that he doesn't want to go to the Bulldogs. Maguire was on the front foot today, uh, thinking or saying that there's still success ahead for him and the Tigers. Is there any, is, is there any chance? Oh, is look, he just bro, trying to well, save? Look, is is there any chance of his name? Mike a winner. What else Doing is he saying? Oh, no, he's, a, he's a competitor. To he's be a fair, fierce competitor. To be fair, like, if, not, if not for his, uh, his character of, of the, what yes. is Michael Maguire, any other coach w- should walk into the office tomorrow and say, give him a payout, I'm out of here. Because really... I'm on the back of the chairman, but, that, he's, but he's also know, fighting for his own he, future, Dave. Like he, mate, he is. Seen, he 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 has gone from. He can walk out with his head held high. He can, Dave, but he's also he he's on a career terms. coach. He's a career coach, and he's got to save look, his job look at the here. Chairman's Otherwise, comments. it's going to be hard to look, get the another. The writing is on the wall. Yeah. The, look at listen to the chairman's comments. I can't recall such open comments from a chairman at Clubland like that about when, a mid-season review. Maguire can can control the narrative. Yeah. And when, when coaches, uh, clubs get, you know, in the old days, it was, look, he's got the full support of the board. And that becomes such a joke around the game. They're all terrified of saying that. But that's been now replaced by, as of today, he's our coach. Mm. Mm. So that's what I'll tell you. As of today, he's our coach, which sounds strong and aggressive in its language and very definitive in its language. But what's tomorrow? Yeah. The second part of this, guys, is the playing group. And, and already uh, talking to player agents representing several players at the club, they want to know who the coach is. Yeah. With all the noise going around, the club can't give straight answers about who the coach will be next year, and that will be the next, so next I, issue. I think you're right with Serrato. Serrato wants to develop a team himself and wants to be involved in a, a side, a developing side, like you said, like the West Tigers, where he can have his hands all over it, doesn't have Gus overseeing it and, and having his hands all over it. I think he would like to go to the West Tigers, but you're saying that... He's about to extend with the Panthers, or is that? I'm, I'm under, there's I'm clause under, in there. He he is talking talking to them to the so Panthers. This is quite this pivotal week. timing here. Yeah. And, pretty, and yeah. as Buzz explained last night, there there will be clauses that will allow him to move on if the right opportunity okay. was to come up. But I guess the the other question that a young coach like Cameron Serraldo should ask himself is: Are the Tigers the right opportunity? Because for the last five coaches, is it now? It hasn't been the right opportunity. Well, well, no matter what spin they put on how good the juniors are coming through or what financial position the club is in, the fact of the matter is the last five coaches have not succeeded at that club. Yeah, I Ivan Cleary probably went closest, but he walked before it got yeah. too hard. Yeah, they probably haven't had the football now as what, they've, what we're seeing currently with the head of football in Tim Sheens. Mm. And I think that's a key factor in the, in, in the Tigers getting back on the straight and narrow. Sheens rates this junior um, group coming through the best he's seen in 20 years since Liam Fulton, Dean Halatau, Robbie Farad, that group. That, such is the regard for this next crop of juniors. And as I said, Seraldo has had so much success with the under-20s and the current first-grade squad at the Panthers. I think it's an opportunity for him. Um, and, and the goalposts have shifted from 12 months ago, if you recall the Tigers making a play previously for Seraldo. At that time, the Panthers hadn't won the Premiership yet and he still mm. had one year remaining on his assistant coaching role. Back to your point, Braith, yes. he's off contract at this point in time at the Panthers. Yes, he's going to have negotiations, but there's no deal yet with the Panthers. Yeah.